Hello there, I am Janko with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we took on Route 214. And now we're gonna take on this uh, 7 Stars Restaurant Resort thing. So let's take on some battles here. I have Bronzor, or Bronze, and uh, Rose up front. So let's take on this first battle. Oh, all those stocks went up again? You haven't guessed wrong yet. My boyfriend's a stock market wizard. Do you know someone has that lucky? Someone that lucky also happens to make a tough trainer. Are you willing to try your luck against that? Yes. I just, it's just one loss. We can make that back with a big win next time. That's a good attitude. So I'm um, going to take on the next set of uh, trainers, I guess. And I'm going to keep Bronze and the Rose up front. Because they seem to be working well together. So that's good. He said he'd treat me to dinner here if I agreed to, mo to model for him. So I came along, but I haven't made up my mind yet. What can, what, when I can't decide, I, I battle to make the decision. I've decided to model for him that's given me an appetite. Cool. Um, I'm gonna keep bronze and rust out front. Uh, let me, let me purpose, let me propose a toast to many more happy years together. Since I took, since I took my retirement, I've been traveling with my wife. We both enjoy searching for delicious dining experiences. You seem to enjoy battling with Pokemon, am I right? Yes. Well, so much for that. Let's try to enjoy the rest of our meal. Okay, let's take on this uh, tra uh, this couple too, I guess. This pair of trainers. Uh, this is a special occasion, uh, Esteban. Uh, this is this is to celebrate your great grades. Oh, a battle, you say? Well, certainly. Why not? Yes. Is the dessert coming soon? <laughs> okay, it's that. Sorry, I meant to press um, I meant to press X, but I press Y instead. Okay, we're gonna switch some Pokemon around, I guess. Have some fire and water combination, you know, for this last pair of trainers, which is an interviewer and cameraman. Just double checking. This should be the last uh, pair with the dude in the restaurant. So let's start with a shot of the drinks as a camera test. Hmm, huh? You're inviting us to battle at 
a time like this? Yes, of course. Oh man, our drinks are, uh, like, lukewarm, lukewarm now. I don't know what that means by lukewarm. Yeah, that's the, for the, um, the five-star restaurant place, um, yeah. So let's continue on. Again, I, we saw this guy in the last part. He'll help you a Pokemon if you just talk to him, which is really nice. So that's always good to have fully healed Pokemon and stuff. And, yeah. Oh, here's an item over here. Let's grab it. It's a red shard. Cool. Red shards are cool. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I'll keep, I'll keep um jet up to the front. Let's have some trainer paddles on the beach. Uh, hee hee, I can battle too. Okay, let's switch up our Pokemon again. Everyone's level 29 except for, of course, Becky and, um, um, Inferno. Why don't, why don't, wait, didn't I catch a V-Barrel to replace Becky or something? I don't know. We'll have to see by the time we get to next to the Pokemon Center or something. But yeah, hopefully, um, I know this guy might have a Shell Loss and stuff, but I'll probably use his, um, Inferno's Mock Punch or something. But hopefully he doesn't faint and stuff. Isn't this nice? I love my inner two. Okay, let's continue on. Here's a fisherman, dude. There's plenty. There's a fancy hotel, um, in a fancy place where, with a fancy restaurant. The fancy restaurant's filled with the fancy people who think of themselves as being too fancy to battle anyone. Well, I got a lot of battles while I was there anyway, so I disagree with that. Oh, I almost had that fish wheeled in. Okay, so we're gonna switch up our Pokemon again to Rose, I guess, yeah. Now let me demonstrate my technique. It's how these, how this grown-up battles. Okay, um, let's talk to you. There's something on top of this big cliff here. My instincts tell me that, but how am I supposed to climb up by using rock climb? But it's another hidden machine move. Hid hidden machine thing you have to sh teach your Pokemon. Here's where you can use rock smash. I think this is TM40 Aerialis. Yeah, TM40 Aerialis, I was right. Awesome. So I want to see, I know, um, I know for a fact Karen can win it, but I want to see who else can win Aerialis real quick. So right here it is. 
Let's see, the moment of truth. What other Pokemon can learn? Elma Team can learn Elios. Okay. Inferno can. I don't want to be some type of attack bonus or anything. I think I want to teach you the Karen. Yeah. Which we should be forgotten. Let's get rid of um Pursuit because it's weaker than the uh weaker than assurance. At least when it's not when the Pokemon's not switching off, of course. Let's get rid of Pursuit though. We go and dang it! I don't want to really want to learn to walk Pokemon. Dang it! Okay, I'm just gonna use a repel because I think I want to go to that bottom part and pick those berries if I can. Let's put another repel on. Yeah, there we go. Or a repel on. There's some berries right there. Go down here. Isn't there something? Yeah, if we use Rock Smash right here. Who's in that Rock Smash? Oh, that's just a honey tree, of course. Okay, fine, we'll go back up to where that was. Power off, of course. Let's see if I can make these. Ah! Okay, there we go. Here's a pineapple berry. Oh no, that's not even a. It's an Impapa berry. It's not even a pineapple berry, jeez. There's two, there's a couple of Ross berries though. I'm gonna guess the last, the first one on the left is a Pomeg berry. I could be wrong though, we'll see in a second if I'm right or not. Here's the moment of truth though. It's an Ag, nope, I was wrong. Agave berry or something. Okay. So with that, we are now officially in Pastoria City. Awesome. Oh, look, it's Team Galactic or Team Galactic Grunt. Grr, this is so annoying. What is it to you? Um, or some kind of. You're some kid with only three gym badges. What bigger. What little buggers like you shouldn't know to stay out of Team Galactic's way. Now, this package from Veilstone, where should I send it, send it off to? Yep, this is going to be a smashing job for Team Galactic. Interesting. Let's go on the Great Marsh, which is right here. If you go up the steps real quick, you can actually pay like a hundred poke dollars to look through the binoculars. So I just look through the one, the, the middle one, just for a sample. So yeah, if you look through them, you like, can catch your Psyduck in that area. You can catch your Beedoof in that area. You can catch your Gold Duck in that area. That's cool. And you can you can catch your Quagsire in that area, and a Beedoof in that area. It's all it's some obviously some are different areas, of course. So that's really cool. Let's go on the Great Marsh because I want to only get in the Great Marsh to get like this hidden machine for Defog. Welcome to the Great Marsh, the home of Pistoria's Safari game. All you can catch for just five hundred book dollars. Would you like to play the game Safari game? Yes. Yeah, it's just five hundred book dollars. Okay. I guess I could try to just look around for Pokemon, but I won't be adding any of these to my team. If you talk to this person, he will give you the HM for Defog. I found this during the Safari game. It's the hidden machine defog, but none of my Pokemon can learn it. You, you'd be doing me a favor if you took this. Yeah. Nice. I'll just look around for a little bit, I guess. See so if we can find items too. I'll look at that one. There's an item. And let's see what this one. This I'll get the B barrel. Oh, well, yeah. I already caught a B barrel. Okay, so it's in the PC. So. I'll just run from the spear barrel, I guess. There's an antidote, cool. This mud is getting really annoying. Ah. Let's see what this one is. It's a Meryl. Okay. Choose a Sapphire Ball. See if this catches it. I don't know if it will because I didn't even throw a bait first. One, two, three. And it broke out, of course. Whenever it just sits there for like more than three seconds, it broke out basically. It's gonna break out. Okay, if this fails again, I'll use another. I'll use bait and then throw a Safari Ball. Unless it flees, then, you know, I don't get it, of course. Because they can't flee. 
He's watching carefully. Okay, let's use bait. The video looks like a big egg, like an egg kind of thing. Like a rice ball that doesn't have their black part um, showing like it's on the other side of the, you know, rice ball. Okay, so five ball. Let's see. One, two, three. There we go, we caught it. Okay, give it a name, sure. spell it but that's okay although that's all I want to do for the great marshoy come on I just want to get out it's this one it's a hoot hoot okay run away <laughs> run away and that's what I want to do with the great marshoy you still have the I have time off. Are you sure you want to exit the Great Marsh? Yes. Okay. I'll relieve you of your remaining survivals. Thank you for playing. We hope to see you again. Okay, that's cool. Yep, me too. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and heal. I not only healed up all my Pokemon, but I also got back out of the PC with the B barrel I caught to replace Becky, I guess, because it can actually learn. All, it's move, all, all the moves now, like going cut, strength, rock smash, and rock climb. But I'll, I'll, I'll just actually teach all those moves right now to Beck. So let me see here. Ah, dang it. Cut. Yes. I'll teach at the buck. Or Beck, I mean. Defense curl can be forgotten, I guess. There we go. Nice. This is all looking out. And we can use strength. Yeah, we can actually win strength, which is cool. Okay, let's use let's give it a rollout, I guess. And rock smash. And we don't have rock climb yet. Rock climb is like this near before the seven gym patch, which we still got a while for that. So that's cool. Yes, so uh, which we should be forgotten. Yeah, there we go. Um let's give it a Headbutt then. There we go. And that's all there is to it. Um, there's a couple areas I want to point out. Let's pick these berries real fast. Let's pick them at lightning speed. Why am I? S <laughs> that's from Mario. That, that tune's from Mario, man. And here's some um, some nab nab berries. That's cool. Or a nab nab berry. And here's a Persian berry, I guess. Yeah, Persian was right. I don't want to use my dowsing machine, but there's a hint I am in this in the area. I guess not. Unless I'm not looking at all the white pieces, but that's okay. Oh, here's, um, if you give this guy a hard scale, he will teach you a uh, move that you may have forgotten from one of your Pokemon. So, like, if you talk to him, yeah, he's the move Maniac. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, that's it. Yes, oh, it's goodness, hard scale. And to, to um, be able to keep on relearning new moves, um, I'm not gonna do it. We learn, I'm not gonna make it my Pokemon relearn anything yet. But um, to get more hard scales, you just have to go underground and stuff and, and mine for them. I might do like a separate video on how to do that. I'm not exactly sure though. All you have to do is go underground and then just like mine at the walls where you can, where you can mine for stuff and then you find hard scales. They're pretty common. So I'm probably going to do all that off screen like when I need to get hard skills and stuff. Okay, here's the Pokemon. Right? Let's see, what's, what can we sell? What can we sell? Tiny Mushroom, of course, two of them. Shard, okay, um, nope. You, really, you can sell a guard spec and next special defend. 
Okay. And what can we buy? Let's see, Pokeballs. We have 12 already. Okay, Great Balls. We have. We'll buy um, a couple two more, I guess, for now. Potions. We have. Uh, we'll buy two, three more, I guess. Super Potions. We can buy like three more, I guess. Ooh, revives. Nice. What will I. We'll buy. We'll just buy two because they are expensive. Antidotes. What do we have? Four heals already? No, we don't. Okay. Antidotes then. We have six. Let's buy like one more. Pearls heals. Let's buy two more pearls heals. I guess it doesn't hurt to have them. Awakenings. I know I need. Okay, I'll probably buy two more then. Burn heal. How many burn heals? Okay. Buy one more burn heal just to be. Just to have when I'm laying around. Uh, to be laying around in my bag, I should say. I right, see. So let's buy just one because that's very rare. Uh, Escape ropes, we have three already, okay. Uh, we don't need any more repels, super repels though. We want to buy like... That much. Buy a couple more. That uh, 15's good, okay, cool. And uh, I want to make this clear, I won't be covering this route at all because this is a totally optional route. It's um, about 212 and uh, 212, and it's rainy and it's all muddy and stuff, and it's hard to maneuver around the mud and everything. But um, I'll pick these berries while I'm here, actually, just to pick them. But I won't be covering this route because the mud's so annoying to get through, to try to get through and stuff. I don't really like it, so I I'm just choosing not to go this way. I'll maybe do um, whenever the south uh, exit of Heart Home City is open, I'll probably cover that to cover like the Pokemon Mansion and stuff but for this like route west or east of yeah west of Pastoria or whatever uh, I don't really want to cover it because the mud's so annoying even with my controller it's still annoying and I just don't like I don't like getting stuck in the mud all the time so yeah that's just it's a completely optional route like I said before and I think that's all it. So in the next part, so this has been my part of my Pokemon Diamond Redux or Redo walkthrough guide. In the next part, we'll take on the Pastoria City Gym, Pastoria City Gym, uh, Pokemon Gym, Redo Crash Awake, the Tolerantal, uh Masked Master. Nice. So this has been Giant Go again. I want to thank you much again. Goodbye, and I'll just see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo walkthrough guide.